Hey guys, welcome back to Voodoo TV, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Sapphire HD 7970. Now we've gotten a number of emails, a couple of tweets, some requests on Facebook about this, and I know it's a hot product on the market right now, but fortunately we managed to get our hands on it. So now we're just going to go over some of the bots, nice black bots here. On the back, I'm just going to go over a couple of the features. So we need a cameraman to come in a bit. So first thing is we have the new 28nm architecture. It has uh, three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, AMD iFinity 2.0, Crossfire X, which you know at this point our V cars have Crossfire X. It has PCI 3 support, AMD App Acceleration DirectX 11, HDMI with 3D. So for all you uh, crazy 3D gamers out there or like to watch movies, and this would be a good match for you, and HD 3D technology. So now it's gonna take it out of the box. Now the most key thing about this box, or not the box, the video card rather, is that this is the fastest single GPU video card in the market right now. So let's take this out. Immediately you're greeted by the box and a stop message that says you must connect this graphics board to the power supply, of course, otherwise you won't be able to use it. I'll just put this aside for a second. More cardboard, which is over here, it's over here. And uh, you'll notice that it's a lot of recycled packaging, which is great for the environment, so good on Sapphire for that. So in this box, we have a lot of the cables, your power connectors, a DVI to display port here, HDMI to DVI. And uh, Sapphire has also actually given you an HDMI extension cable here, so that's pretty cool of them. More cables, the drivers, of course you don't, don't need those. Your installation guide. This is display port to main display port, some advertising, and your crossfire bridge, as well as an adapter. So a lot of the regular stuff that you would normally get for most video cards, except for the HDMI extender. Let's get this out of the way. And let's get to the star of the show, which is the 7970. So here it is, let me take this out. So you can always see it has a beautiful black finish to it. It can sort of get some fingerprints, but it's a beautiful car nonetheless. It has the very sexy black and red color scheme going for it. Uh, you'll notice that it does maintain a 10.5 inch footprint, but um, it got a little bit slimmer because of the design that they went with it. It does make it a little bit sleeker and nicer, but most of all, it just helps with the, uh, it's designed to improve airflow within the card. It is a reference card, so it does have a stock vapor chamber cooling hidden underneath the card. I can't really show it to you, but this will still occupy two slots on your motherboard, so keep that in mind. Connectivity, they sort of brought it, toned down the connectivity or the options that you have just to, again, help with noise and airflow. So you still have your two display ports. A HDMI and a DVI. So you still have a few options for connecting, most of it's standard. And uh, it should be noted that you can actually daisy chain the display ports together, so you can actually get six displays if you were to do an iFandy setup. Go. All right, so right now I'm gonna go over a little bit about cross-firing and overclocking with the 7970. Now with the 7970 along with Crossfire X, you're actually able to support up to four video cards with uh, support from dual bridges. And this is great because you're able to actually boost the quality of your graphics and images without actually suffering any performance penalties since they're running on multiple cards and sort of sharing the workload, as it were. And a neat little, sorry, a neat little feature with the 7970 as well for you guys who I know are crazy with overclocking, Sapphire has actually provided with a dual boot switch. You see one and two here, and a little switch here that might be a little hard to see. But what this means is that you're able to go ahead and sort of test the waters with your overclocking without having to worry about breaking your video card, which would really suck, because then you'd be out a lot of money and be crying about it for a little while. So overall, at the end of it, with the 7970, it kind of does what it's expected to do, which is sort of surpass the previous generation, become better, become faster, and, and all that good stuff. And of course, the 7970 does do that. Uh, with even with the stock uh, clock speeds that comes from the factory, gaming performance is you know, extremely impressive. You could go ahead and, you know, again, push the video card a little bit further with overclocking, but at this point, like, I don't think you really need to. You've got three gigs of DDR5 memory. 
you have impressive clock speed and just impressive performance overall with the card. But the only drawback to this is, of course, with the cooling, if you do you know, do some hardcore gaming or some extensive overclocking, the card will, of course, be a little bit noisier, because uh, especially if you're running at 100% load. So that's something to probably consider, but that goes to say with, for any you know, high-end video card. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, the 7970 is an impressive piece of hardware. You can do amazing things with this, such as if you get an uh, iFinity gaming setup, you can you know, put resolutions up to 5760 by 1080 for all you like, crazy hardcore gamers out there, whether it's like driving simulations or flight simulators or anything like that. Uh, you've got incredible performance, great overclocking ability, the fastest single GPU video card on the market right now. But of course, there's going to be a downside to it, of course. There's a bit of a steep price tag to it, but you have to look at it this way. You get what you pay for. So definitely, you guys need to check out the 7970. Uh, I hope this review helps. Uh, we're going to have a more detailed review of the video card uh, on our blog, so at blog.fudo.com. Also, be sure to comment and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time, hopefully with some uh, more crazy toys to play with.